Hello Cinema Tech Geeks, this is James Gardner again. Here I am at the Sun Theatre. This is La Scala, to be exact, a beautiful theatre with some really comfy seats. And today I'm going to show you uh, an explanation of a problem that's been happening in a number of sites, and I've been getting some frantic calls when um, they go to a 2D screening and the colours are all wrong, basically they go pink and green. Now, this is happening because if you drop a 3D trailer on a 2D timeline, that will, in fact, convert that timeline to a different colour space. That's where the green and the pink come from. Now, we have to understand why that happens, but initially, just put it straight up that you should, if you're doing a 2D um, show, always make sure you don't put a 3D item in there, otherwise you'll get into trouble. Now, what happens whenever there is a 3D item in a show, uh, this is, uh, goes for most all players, from my understanding, is that that will, by default, change the show from sending out the HDSDI dual stream 12-bit XYZ colour and will switch it over to a 3D mode, which is a um, dual stream, so two different pitches, not one sent through two cables, but two completely different pitches, through one through each cable, and that will be converted from the typical 2D XYZ 12-bit to YUV 422 10-bit. And in 3D, you'll be getting through, through the A, A cable and the B cable, the left and the right eye. I think, I'm not sure of the order, but there you go. Now, of course, if you put one of those files in any show, it'll convert the whole show. So if you think you're playing a typical 2D show in XYZ, you drop a 3D trailer in it, it goes to screen wrong and frantically get a call. Usually I just tell them to make a show with just the feature in it straight away and go to screen and get talk about it later when we've, we're not so um, under pressure. So let's talk about how the 3D works. So as I said before, um, it goes from dual channel 12-bit XYZ to YUV 10-bit 422. Now, the technical geeks out there, this, that's a, a typical um, television standard that the HD, HD cams and HD cam SR use, etc. And of course, the projector can actually um, display that in a 2D mode as well. So, what this means is that um, if you need to, you can display a 3D file on a 2D screen. Strangely enough, um, I've been asked this quite a number of times, but no one seems to, to know. But, uh, I bothered looking into it in the last couple of days and in, later on in the video I'll, I'll show you uh, a trailer, a 3D trailer being sh presented in 2D. Uh, but I've got to go over the issues here about doing that. First of all, um, the distributors may not be terribly up with that because the content is actually made um, and color graded for the 4.5 foot laminates that the um, 3D is usually are supposed to be projected at and also the cuts are maybe a little bit different and some parts of the film are a little bit different for 3D. Um, all said and done the picture still looks very good and um, and what I've seen um, it, it was it was fine and if you had a, had an emergency and needed something to go to screen and 2D was better than, better than nothing at all it is an option that you could use. So how do we do that? Well as you know uh, DCI projector has an HDSDI inputs and they can be used to be plugged directly into HD cams, SRs or whatever. Um, any typical HDSDI source can be projected on screen. And that's all you're doing. You're just programming the projector to expect that sort of source and it will project it on screen. So uh, let's go into a demo. I'll, I'll point the, the camera at the screen and I'll show you the, the colours that you expect when it goes wrong. So if this happens to you, take real take note of it because if you see those sort of colours on screen, you can then make a, uh, an assumption of what's gone wrong straight away and apply uh, a remedy to get the, the session onto screen properly as quickly as possible. So let's turn that camera around and have a look at a 3D trailer on a 2D screen. Behind me is a 3D trailer being projected in XYZ colour space. Pink and green. That's not what we want, is it? 
I'll just quickly show you so you can actually see it working. This is of course Avatar. Very pink and green. Now I've programmed another channel for a typical 10-bit 422 YUV color space. So let's just jump to that, that uh, channel now. There it goes. This is the typical delay between switching channels on a DCI projector, which can take six to eight seconds. Here we go, there you go. Okay, now let's push play for a sec so you can actually see it, see it going. So back to the trailer. There you go. As you can see, I'm showing a 3D trailer and I'll just switch back to that for a sec. So you can actually see the 3D effect on the screen. Uh, we've got a 3D trailer being displayed on a 2D screen. So it is possible. Um, so when you really have to do it, give it a go. But um, it's not recommended or supported by the distributors generally and I would talk to them about it if, if you ever had to do it. Um, so yeah, that's Cinema Tech Geek for this, this episode. I'll try and do some more over Christmas. It's been a bit hectic because we're doing quite a lot of installs etc around here for Avatar. Um, so good luck with your free 3D screens and your Avatar release. Bye for now from James Gardner of Cinematech Geek.